Welcome back to the restaurant show. Joining us now are our friends from Bourbon Street, and we are so glad to have them. Tony, our head chef from Bourbon Street, and we've got Stefan, one of our wonderful bartenders from over at Bourbon Street, here to join us. You guys have some amazing food and a great atmosphere, so we're so pleased to have you on the show. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming. Now, you're going to make some jambalaya for us today. So yes. talk to us a little bit about your jambalaya, and go ahead and get started. Tell us what it's all about. Well. It's a part of New Orleans that we brought to Madison. It's not too spicy, but it got a nice little kick to it. Yeah. But if customers ask, I can tone it up. That's why you have cornbread to go with it to kind of... Keep the spice to a minimum yes. for folks. Well, that's right. kind of nice. You can customize it a little bit because I know some folks at home really enjoy something with a little kick and some folks need a little less right. like me. So that's really great. Now, do you have just one standard recipe for making jambalaya? Yeah, I got one that I stick to. Okay, so you're slicing up some onions. Now, what else comes in jambalaya? You've got some peppers, I peppers, see. Peppers, you have your shrimp, mm -hmm. and dewy sausages, and chicken. All kinds of great ingredients, and yes. spices, too. Now, is this for the jambalaya? Yes. I always like to smell spices, because, I mean, that's that smells really good. So, that's a good sign, right? And I know right. you guys make amazing food, so I know your jambalaya will be no different. And your jambalaya, if I'm not mistaken, is actually award-winning, is that correct? Yes, we won Taste of Madison a couple of years in a row. Wow, yeah, very good. So people come kind of from all over to enjoy your jambalaya. Yes. Along with some of your other famous dishes that you have. So you've got all these peppers that you slice up real nice and small. And um, so are you gonna make a real spicy one right now? Or well, you know, kind of how much spice is in, in the mix here? Normally I just make it with a kick and then when a the customer asks to tone okay. it up a little bit, it's like a tour's request basically. Okay. Good. So I'll let you continue to slice that up and um, we're also going to make a nice drink pairing I understand. Stephen. Oh yeah. So, um, talk to us a little bit while um, Tony's finishing up the jambalaya here. Tell me what drink you're going to make for us. I know you've got some great summer deals, summer specials. So what do you got for us today? Well some of our summer specials on the rooftop are 250 singles of our Bacardi flavors or Bacardi. Okay. <clears throat> 250. That's not a oh, bad yeah. deal. It's rooftop only. Okay. But other than that, we have my signature uh, wolfberry mojito. Okay. So go ahead and kind of get us started on that. How do you make this? Let's go ahead and just, you know, mix one up for us and tell us what's in it while you go. All right. I'll have to move get this that out of your way. way. Sure. No problem. All right. So what do you start with now? Well, and is the order important? Yeah. I start right away with some homegrown mint. Okay and generally two pieces of lime, about that size. Okay. And I prefer to use Jero bar syrup. I mean, you can use any other type or sugar, okay. which, depending on your preference. But just a little dash, about like that. And then take your muddler. Muddle it all in, get the lime juice going on the mint. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a fun process to watch. So you do that fresh right in front of folks as they order that drink. Yep, for every drink we make from scratch to order. Very good. And then two and a half ounces. And of do the you Wolf always Berry use rum. Is, is it always Bacardi that you guys use for these? Um, this is actually my signature drink okay. that I created this summer. Uh, last last summer we just stuck to the uh, original lime mojito, but okay. I thought I'd give it a little kick this sure. year. Mix it up a little bit. New summer, a new, new recipe, and um, you make this fresh every time. So this isn't something you're making in batches. I mean, this is no. right in front of the customer each and every time they order it. It takes a little while to get them, but if you know you got a whole table ordering them, they'll be all nice and fresh to go. That's just awesome, and what a great way to enjoy the summer weather, and you guys have a rooftop that folks can enjoy where you get those 250 specials. Um, nice tip for folks at home. Um, but you guys are also um, in the midst of having a, a remodel on your balcony and yes, everything. We are. So that's about to be a very amazing place to have some outside dinner, um, lunch specials, drink specials, all that kind of stuff. And um, so talk to us a little bit about your outdoor seating and what, you know, it kind of makes you guys special compared to some other places that have outdoor seating. So this year we, uh, we're actually adding on a second lower patio, uh, which will be closer towards the water. So then we'll have a total of three levels along the water. Very good. And we believe we have the highest 
seating on the waterfront than any other restaurant. Yeah, and you know, I can attest to that, but you know, being the customer of Bourbon Street, you guys really have a lot of great outdoor seating options for right. folks. And that spans just a gorgeous view, and you've got great food and just a wonderful atmosphere. So we're kind of getting out of time here, so I'm gonna let you wrap up your drink while Tony finishes off that jambalaya for Top us. Top it off with soda water. Add a lime for garnish. And then a little dash of DeKuyper Island Punch Pucker. Look at that. So we got a lot of great colors in there too. That just looks like a summer drink, does it not? I mean, who wouldn't want to enjoy that right. out on the balcony or on up on the rooftop? And yeah, that just looks fantastic. And yes, I'll, I'll take one for the team. I'll give it a try just to tell you how it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that tastes really good. You can taste a little sweetness in there. Nice and fresh. Great summer drink. And now... And it, go, it go perfect with the jambalaya. So we've got some potentially spicy jambalaya. Again, Tony will make it exactly how you want it. Right. But um, some great jambalaya that you can pair with a great summer drink. Yes. And um, take a look at this because now this comes with some different side choices. Right. But we've got rice here as a choice and then a nice cornbread muffin that you mentioned helps kind of neutralize that spice yes. for people. Yes. But you guys have some other sides as well. Right, we have sweet fries, JoJo's, and potato fries. Okay, sweet fries, JoJo's, potato fries, all kinds of different right. side options that you guys can get at Bourbon Street. Well guys, you have given us a great presentation here, some awesome jambalaya and a wonderful drink. We will come check you guys out this summer on the rooftop, 250 drinks, and you guys stay right there. We'll be right back with the restaurant show. Stick around.